Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 877 of our trek and time for a three-minute mini-trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide a short and clean funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and to provide you a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is entitled, Keeping Your Commitments. In the not-so-distant past, there was an old man named Jim, who worked all his life and saved all his money. He was a miser. He lived like a pauper. He hardly had food, but he loved his money more than just about anything else in the world. Just before he died, he said to his wife Martha, When I die, I want you to take all my money and put it in a casket with me. I need my money in the afterlife. Can you promise me that you'll do that? His wife was faithful, so she promised Jim with all her heart that when he died, she would put all his money in the casket. When Jim died, Martha gave him a proper funeral. He was laid out in a beautiful casket, and his faithful wife was in the front row of the funeral parlor dressed in black, sitting beside her best friend Sue. When the ceremony ended, just before the undertakers were ready to close the casket, Martha rose from her seat and said, "'Wait just a minute.' With that, Martha placed an ornate box in his casket. Then the undertakers locked the casket and rolled it away. When Martha returned to her seat, Sue grabbed her arm and said, Martha, I know you weren't fool enough to put all the money in the casket with Jim, were you? Martha said to Sue, Listen, I am a Christian woman, and I can never lie. I promised Jim I was going to put the money in the casket with him, and I did. Sue was horrified and asked, You mean to tell me you put all the money in the casket with Jim? Martha replied, I sure did. I wrote him a check for the full amount. We'll make it a day full of cheer today. As we conclude our story, let me leave you with Thursday's thought from Psalms chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. That's a wrap for today's Humor Unplugged. If you enjoy these short stories, let me know so I can continue to bring you a bit of cheer to your week. Just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 876 treks or read the Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on Apple Podcasts or Google Play so that the Stray Trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.